hello you all welcome back to my channel it's me destiny of manifest by destiny and today i have a new oracle deck in hand the hip-hop queen's oracle deck written by kathy iandoli illustrated by monica ahano new <laughs> hopefully i did their names justice here's what the keepsake box is looking like it's a 52 card deck it comes with a guidebook potter publishing i've never heard of this one hmm. so it's going for 23 dollars in the united states right now 30 in canada of course as you know i'm an amazon associate i purchased this on amazon so i think i did get it for a lower price so definitely check out the amazon link to this deck below in the description box Delivered with a swagger only hip hop can provide this Oracle deck features 52 of the genre's most influential female stars serving as compass points for spiritual growth and portals to guidance and meditation. Nikki, Queen Latifah, Cardi B, Little Kim, Mary J. Blige, Left Eye, Meg Thee Stallion, Lauren Hill. Oh yeah, this is nice. Beyonce. Erica Badu, salt and pepper. Yeah, this is going to be great. Um, I'm going to go cut this now. Okay, stickers off. Let's open the box. Oh, interesting. The box opens a little bit different than most of my Oracle or Tarot decks. It doesn't come off. It's actually connected. The Hip Hop Queen's Oracle deck, of course, like it said, comes with a guidebook. Oh, First card, Aaliyah Angel. One of the most, like, I think that's like one of her most iconic pictures. Let's see. Yes, there's color. If you know, if you know, you know. I love color in a guidebook. And I also love a table of contents. They give layouts. Oh, no table of contents. No. Okay, so that's one of my cons to this deck so far. It doesn't have a table of contents. One of my pros it uses full on color in the guidebook, which I always enjoy. Now, let's just get into the cards. Yeah, I've been waiting for this deck. It was supposed to come during my birthday, like the month or the week of November 13th. I ordered this back in May. It was just released. So it just, I think it just got here. It was two days late with Amazon. So I can already see the stock like this feels not, um, you hear that, that sound? They're thick, but they're not thick, if that makes sense. They're sturdy, but they're just not sturdy enough. Set up. Most likely, I'm going to add in some music and flip through this pretty quickly. So let's go. I'm sorry if I hit the camera. Actually, I think I'm not, I'm probably gonna add music, but I'm gonna talk through this. I can definitely see how the key terms and the people that are on here, like, come on now, Hustle City Girls, of course. It's perfect. And I enjoy like the way that the artists, the, the artists are depicted. It's almost like collage style, which is like one of my favorite forms of art, I'm sure. It's not collage style. Realist, I don't know. Somebody comment below what, what type of artwork is this? Dreezy. Miss Fatu. My fellow Scorpion such sister. <laughs> Change, transformation. Foxy Brown attitude. Oh, there's a fox on there. I like that. That totally brings in like the symbolism behind the animal. 
Gangsta Boo, yes. Janelle Monet. Jean Grey. One cool thing about this, of course, I feel like if you don't know who any of these people are or some of these people are, this deck will introduce you to them and it will also introduce you to their music, which is pretty cool. Because like Jean Grey, I don't know who that is. But versatility is something I'm into, so I'm definitely going to look her up. Janae Aiko, emotions. Oh, yes. She captures emotions like no other. Me and my boyfriend were just talking about how like Big Sean's been transformed since, you know, being with Janae. Cash doll finesse. Mm. They say she'd be finessing people about her age, so. So she may be. Kalani superstition. Wow. I don't know. Is she superstitious or something? Or is there like songs that people have? I was wondering if LaChat was going to be here. Self-esteem. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Lady Luck. Luck. Lady of Rage. Fight. Rough and tough with my Afro puffs, I believe. <laughs> Rocking rough and tough with my Afro puffs. Oh, Lotto Instinct. Oh. I think she's a Capricorn, so I like that. I like that instinct for her. Lauren Hill Inspiration. Left eye slash TLC vision. Well, if it's slash TLC, where the rest of them? <laughs> I always had issues saying her name. Lake Kelly, Lee Kelly, luckily 47. Mystery, very much so mystery. <laughs> very much so. Little Kim, Lil' Kim resilience. Beautiful. Lizzo, self-love. Yes, a beautiful representation of self-love. Mary J. Blige, healing. Mm. Oh, I wonder if Summer's gonna be in here, Summer Walker. MC Light, skill, very calculated. 10%, hmm, I wonder what the 10% means. Mm, but the haircut though, the haircut. Megan the Stallion, pride. Beautiful. Mia X, strength. What does that say? No limit records. Mm. I don't know you, but I'm gonna look you up, sis. Missy Elliott, innovation. Very much, very much so. These, the words that they chose to put with these people is perfect. Moni Love, peace. I love the colors. I love the colors of this deck. It's giving like sacral, crown chakra, feminine energy. Nicki Minaj, leadership. Very much so. She is their leader. Nikki D. Order. Queen Latifah. Respect. I don't know why I'm like reading them out. Rod Digger. Connectivity. Okay. Okay. Rhapsody. Truth. Remy Ma. Courage. Because she looks too good to be. Okay. Rihanna. Dominance. Roxanne Shante Defense. I know who this woman is because of the special on Netflix. Salt and Pepper Sexuality. That's crazy how like spot on her depiction illustration looks. Sweetie style. Very much so. I'm hoping Summer's gonna be here. If Summer's not here, then I just don't know. I just don't know. Sister Soldier Power. Sparky D, Resistance. Spinderella, Transition. SZA, Passion. That means Summer's not here, y'all. Summer's not here. <laughs> Tierra Whack, Humor. I do feel like Summer Walker should have been in this deck. Cause you know, she probably was going, Summer, Summer Walker's probably going to buy this deck. She should be in this deck. But the baddest boosh as, um, who was her name? Jocelyn would say the baddest boosh, Trina Tenacity. Us Girls, US Girls Guidance. Is it the Us Girls or the US Girls? 
Ooh, that glare is so serious. Hopefully I haven't been glaring y'all out the whole time. Young Ma Potential. Yo Yo Defiance. Okay, so now we're gonna get into just a little sample reading. Oh, I'm sliding the table up. I'm shaking the table. The other cards are definitely gonna be smooth too. Shuffle, I can feel that. Yeah, but so far I do wish that there was a table of contents. I also wish um, that Summer Walker <laughs> was in this deck. I don't know, I just have a newfound appreciation for Summer Walker and I definitely see how she's going to make her place in hip hop. I know she's like R&B, but I feel like some of these girls were are women. Some of these queens were also not just one genre, or they kind of flow through them. Mm -hmm. Hip hop, R&B, rap, I feel like they kind of go together, and at least in my community, my culture. So let's see, we're gonna pull one card for all of you that tuned in. Oh, Spirit popped out a card. Left eye TLC, vision. <laughs> Spirit has a vision, y'all. Very much feels like that right now. So because there's no table of contents, you know, you just flip through and it's in color. So it's going to be easy for you to just like recognize the card when you see it. I'm trying to get a nice little thumbnail with shadows and I need to get my ring light out. <laughs> Left eye TLC vision. Insight, foresight, hindsight. Yeah, I'm not going to read all of this. I usually read it if it's like a couple of lines or just a couple of keywords. But right there, you could pause it and read it for yourself. Uh, pulling, I'm going to read this bottom part. This is more about Left Eye's life and her influence on hip hop. And the bottom part is going to be your explanation in most guidebooks, they give you like a separation. So there's no separation between just like the explanation of who's on the card and the explanation of the meaning on the card. Pulling a left eye card means some parts of your life require deeper analysis. You're attempting to sort through some things and dissecting either the past, present, and even future will prove beneficial. So often, the solution is right in our faces. We simply refuse to see it. Again, as left eye says, the eye is right. So no matter what decisions you make, it will be the right answer for you. Be sure to investigate all possibilities and attempt to view the situation from all angles. Remember, while we have two visible eyes, your third eye is equally important. Trust your intuition and gut instinct when navigating your decision-making process. The truth will guide you, not blind you. Stimulate my mind with some metaphysical vibe breathing conversation.